So hi everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Humble Heart Organization TV and we are going to talk about what do feelings have to do with faith. Alright, so we are going to talk about this and hope you are going to finish the whole video. So when we feel sad, do we just need to pray more? Or when we feel happy, is this a sign of strong faith? So people have a wide range of opinions when it comes to emotions. At one extreme is the belief that emotions are simply uncontrollable physical forces that must simply be repressed. At the other end of the spectrum is a frustration over the idea that they have considered so important and used as the basis for everything. Throughout the Bible, we find a variety of emotions expressed. And how should we view emotions? And can they affect our faith? Okay, so God created humans to have emotions and created them good. Only uh, to read through the Psalms to see the whole range of emotions expressed. We can take comfort in the fact that God inspired the writers of this book to express all the emotions we encounter. When sin entered the world, however, our emotional responses became tied to our sinful nature and this suffered the suffering the world. Therefore, we must be careful to not to let our emotions control what we believe. Sometimes this means seeking medical help and always it means resting upon the word of God to tell us what is true about ourselves and the world. God's word tells us that if we believe and rest upon Jesus as our Savior, the truth that we are saved from our sin and given a, given a great inheritance in God's kingdom does not depend on our emotional state. It's easy for us to make emotional experience the test of truth or true faith. However, every Christian will experience emotional ups and downs, both good reasons and bad reasons. Because salvation is by faith alone in Christ Jesus alone. He lived the perfect life, feelings and all, because we could not save ourselves from our bodies of death in Romans chapter 7 verse 24 to 25. So Jesus himself experienced the full range of emotions. At times Jesus was completely overcome with strong emotions like when he wept for Lazarus or the time he threw people out of the temple. So all these emotions were right because Christ was perfect, always obeying God's commands, even despite overwhelming emotions. He went through all that for our sake so that he would intimately know what it is like to be human. He endured all the way to the cross so that, he, so that we could be saved. Christ engages constrains and conforms our beliefs and emotions and thus our emotions when jesus gives us a new self our emotional responses are are able to be redirected toward the things of heaven rather than things of this world god even commands us to have certain emotional responses God's commands to rejoice in Philippians chapter 4 verse 4, to hope in 1 Peter chapter 3 verse 15, and to love in 1 Corinthians chapter 13 are all founded upon the great and wonderful things He gives us to rejoice in, hope for, and love. So Matthew Eliot notes, the nature of Christian emotions themselves are not different than the emotions of the world, but rather it is why they are felt and for what they are felt that sets them apart. The psalmist always remembers who God is and what he has said. 
and these facts form the basis for understanding his experience. Thus, his emotions ultimately or, or ultimately never control or fully overwhelm him. His faith rests upon God, even in the midst of intense emotion. He is never persuaded to dismiss his faith due to how he feels. Emotions can be expressions can be expressions of our faith, what we believe, but they should never be the basis of our faith. Or our confidence so faith does not depend on our emotional state but holds on to and trust what God has said physical or emotional struggles are always going to shake us up while our emotions can and should express our faith God is constant and unchanging he is the anchor we grasp by faith when everything threatens to overwhelm us. Thank you very much for listening, and I hope you've learned about what do feelings have to do with faith. God bless everyone.